Hi and a very good day. In this tutorial today, we would like to see how to achieve the digital output for HBox RPI 200 using the code SYS. For the hardware part, we will be using the same part as we have used in the previous tutorial. Except that, we need an additional push button and also a WAGO 857-304 relay module. The connection between the devices are done as shown in the figure. Once the hardware part is done, we can now move towards the software part. For the software part, we will be using the codesys. So I already opened my codesys page here. So let's go to the file. Click the file, new project and choose project, standard project and here name it as uh, digital input and click OK. So let the set up everything. So for the standard project, we choose the for the device, we choose the code says control for Raspberry Pi MCSL and for the PLC program in, we use the ladder diagram and click OK. So it will run in the background, all the setup and everything. All right. So now it's almost done already. So the first thing that we want to do is go to tools and Go to tools and click update Raspberry Pi and here for the password we put the Raspberry and the IP address remain the same we are not going to change it and just click start button and this opened up the message it says that code says control already running so we are fine with that so the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to go to the devices here and we're going to do the click double click on the PLC program just double click we'll come here and here come to the second row of the here and just click the first button which is the insect contact and name it as a button or start or something you can name it and just click enter a new window will pop up just click ok here so the name is button and the type is the boolean you can change the other one but you will just remain it as boolean and click ok and next we click this button here and when we choose this one and here we put LED and press enter as well and here we're gonna click OK as well so we are done with the ladder programming so next what we want to do is we want to configure the input and output for that double click on the GPIO and for the GPIO parameter for the GPIO 17 we're gonna use it as a input and GPIO 23 as the output so where I get this as an input and output is based on the hard on you know, the data sheet whereby it is mentioned that the input is connected to GPIO 17 and the output is connected to GPIO 23 and next we go to the GPIO IO mapping and here for the digital input we're gonna use the bit 17 so just double click here on the three dots here just click here and open the application PLC prop and this one will be the button for the input and next we go to the output for digital 23 double click here three dots come and we choose the programming and the LED yep. so now we already set up everything and click OK we're already done with this one next we go to the application here right click here and go to add object and go to visual visualization here just click the tick here and click add and we shall wait until we get uh, done with the thing okay so this is a visualization with toolbox so go to lamp switches and bitmaps first pull the lamp here and place it here next pull the switch and put it here right so first click the lamp and go to variable here double click and three dots come and choose the led first and double click on the push button and go to variable and choose the button okay there are many other functions there but we're gonna we're not gonna look into the detail of that yet now we can ready to run the program so before that we need to download uh, to we need to generate the code so just click the generate button here and it has some code okay so i think it's already ready to download so we go back here and next before we uh log in we want to check our connection is okay or not so for that okay so we need to change we need to change to 11 
not 11 uh, 110 so I'm asking for credential so I'm just gonna insert my credential okay okay so now we are active so now we can just go click the login button first and just click yes on this window okay now we are connected as you can see the device is connected now we go back to the visualization and you can see the it's mentioned that the online visualization is waiting for connection please start the application for start we need to press this button to start the application once the application started we can now test the system as you can see in the video whenever i press the push button the relay gets activated that's all for this tutorial in the next tutorial, we shall see how to interface the HBox RPi 200 with other sensor devices. Thank you.